What's up, Refam? It's time for another update on the 650 Peninsula. As you saw in the intro, me and the kids made a trip to the fish store and uh, grabbed a couple frags for the tank. I also ended up grabbing a few frags from a local member uh, to put in here. I'm still waiting for the softies that, I, that I'm grabbing from another local reefer to heal up so I can bring them in and put them in this tank for the time being. But let's check out the new corals before we start our project for the day. Let's start off with the three corals I got from Blue Ribbon Koi, which is a local fish store we have here in Northern Virginia. Uh, this here is a octo spawn with a slightly different green than the frog spawn colony I have. But for the time being, I have it sitting back here in the back of the tank, but it will be moved to a different location. Uh, once I settle everything in and figure out where I want it exactly. Next we have this blastofrag. Uh, it's hard to tell but the center is actually a bluish color and the outside is a reddish rim. Um, it's an interesting coloration. I, I was As soon as I saw it I knew I wanted it. Uh, once it gets larger I think it's going to look great spe uh, especially since the color variation is different than the colony I have. It'll be a nice little addition to the tank, that's for sure. Next is this Hydrophora that is a greenish color with light green highlights. It's definitely a pretty piece. Um, it glows really nicely in the blue light. But as everybody knows with Hydrophoras, they're pretty aggressive. So uh, once it encrusts and gets larger, I'll be moving uh, any corals from close by of Sydney so they don't get, end up getting stung and killed off but it's definitely going to be a really pretty addition to the tank. Now let's get to the three frags I got from a local reefer. This is a Gynopora frag that from his one of his colonies. Um, as you can see it still hasn't fully opened up yet uh, since it's still fresh but uh, hopefully it'll open up and start encrusting and get larger. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out exactly where I want to put it. Um, I definitely have to move from where it's at now because it's kind of getting a little too much sand blown at it. But it, I'll definitely be moving it a little later on today and trying to figure out a better spot for it. Next up we have this fungi plate which is currently tiny but once it gets bigger it's going to be hopefully a pretty piece. Um, it's hard to tell in the video but it's green with orange, pinkish orange as well. Uh, I think it's going to end up being either an oranges plate with green tentacles or a mix of both. But it's definitely, get, under blue light, it's definitely a really pretty piece. And as it gets bigger, the colors will definitely glow a little, glow a little more and it'll be easier to see. But it's definitely a beautiful little piece that I'm excited to watch grow. Alright, and the final coral of the day for you is a Space Invaders Pectina frag. I've been wanting one of these for a long time and finally I managed to get one. So as many of you know these things as they get bigger they just fluoresce green with yellow and are just beautiful pieces. So this should bring in some nice bright fluorescent colors uh, to add on to the rest of the stuff into the, in the tank. Uh, especially when the blue lights are fully on. Uh, and it's just basically glowing in here. So that's it for uh, the additions to the tank. Um, as a lot of you remember, I still have to catch my dwarf angel. Um, I, I got the fish trap in. I just got to set it up and put it in here and get this little guy. Um, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on how catching him goes and how the fish trap does. Uh, in the next video, but for now, let's get on to our project. Alright, so now that we have the tank update portion of the video done, it's time for the project portion. It, today, we're going to set up this torque reactor to put in the tank. The reason I went with the torque reactor is I like the fact that you could just basically unclip the reactor from the pump, pull it out, and stick another one in as a, uh, to replace it. Uh, it makes cleaning and everything else a lot easier. So uh, I ended up getting that uh, and to see to try it out and see how it go how it goes. Hopefully, it ends up being a nice reactor, and I don't regret it. Um, Previous past years, I've used the normal reactors where you just 
plumb a line in and let the water flow through um, or even the BRS one uh, where it's multiple reactors side by side and the thing I found with with those was I always hated cleaning them so hopefully this is ten times better well one way to find out right um, instead of the normal media that I usually would use in the reactor I decided to try out a few new things one of which is Brewalls Aquatics export P, uh, PO4 cubes as well as their uh, NO3 cubes um, never used these two before I've used Brewall Aquatics products before but I've never used these two particular products uh, so uh, let's uh, hopefully they do a good job well worst comes to worst uh, I'll just get you know if they're not doing a great job I'll just get rid of them and go, go back to traditional media but um, first we gotta rinse them off in RO water um, I know it says to put them in uh, a solution with some bacteria for overnight but I'm just gonna rinse them off throw them in the reactor and put them in the tank the bacteria will grow on them in the tank so I'm not really about worried about soaking them overnight they should be fine either way alright so let's get started chamber just because I'm limited on space currently in there so let's get this baby in all right we got the reactor in the tank and it looks great the only thing if you're looking for something fully silent this reactor is probably not for you since the water just comes off the top and comes down the sides so I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty quiet once the cabinet doors are closed, but just a heads up for anybody that's worried about um, any basically noise coming out of the fish tank, uh, this would not be one of the quieter options. But it's definitely a cool looking unit, uh, hopefully less of a pain to clean than the other ones, but we'll find out. Uh, the fact that you could just twist it off the motor and pull it out, it's a great option because I can just get it later on get another reactor so I can just pull this one out and put the other one in while and let that run and I'll clean this one and let store it till the next time it needs to be used uh, while we're back there let me give you an uh, update on what it looks like down here uh, I ended up putting what's gonna be the frag tank over here on this corner uh, if you guys remember from previous videos, we drilled it. I haven't filled it up yet, but I probably will uh, soon since when I catch that little angel, he's probably going to go in there for a little while uh, until I set up the other tank to put him in. Uh, I have a huge amount of Chateau in here uh, that I got from a local reefer, which I'm probably going to have to take some out soon and just, you know, uh, leave more space for the stuff to grow but I just literally put it in yesterday I'm letting it do its thing for a little bit settle in the light comes on I have the lights come on when the tank lights go off uh, so a reverse cycle basically and, and it's, it's just a Kessel uh, magenta light uh, or sorry uh, deep purple light that lights up and hopefully will grow the chateau real well to keep any algae from the main display 
Now, to go back here for to the Nio skimmer. This skimmer, I think by far, other than the old school iTex, has been the best, most consistent skimmer I've owned. Now, I don't know if any many of you remember the iTex skimmers, but once you adjusted those things, they pretty much stayed where they needed to be and pulled out a lot of gunk. This is doing the same thing. I I haven't had any problems with it just going berserk and overflowing. Um, once it's set, it literally will stay in the same level and just pull out gunk consistently. I am really impressed with this skimmer so far and it's been what six months and it's been running flawlessly with this uh, on here hopefully it stays that way and then you know I don't have any issues with the motor or anything but the fact that you know it never goes berserk and overflows has been a great thing I wish I could say that uh, about my other skimmer if you're looking for a skimmer definitely look into the Nio skimmers I'm currently very impressed with them so we'll see how uh, it continues to go that's it for today's update as always thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please leave leave me any comments uh, in the comment section and if if you guys have any questions or anything leave them in the comment section I do my best to try to answer um, definitely hope you enjoy it and thank you guys for the support see you guys on the next video